Man, do I love these Bureau of Land Management Parks. If you come to this one, Perea Canyon, maybe it's Perea, but I'm gonna pronounce it Perea for this entire video. It's 89, Route 89 in Southern Utah, and then go south on White House Trailhead Road. Two miles on a dirt road, and you will find yourself at Perea Canyon. So from the research I've done, you got a couple of dangers here you need to be aware of if you do this hike. Probably number one is right here, flash floods. You're in a slot canyon and there's very few ways to get out. So if there's rain in the forecast, don't even consider it. Number two is the heat. Bring plenty of water. They recommend at least a gallon of water per person. It is hot and it is very dry. You're in the desert. Number three is the potential of seeing rattlesnakes. Some people look forward to that. And number four is the quicksand. And I'll give you more information about that later on. So these are our new friends right here. That's Monica on your left, Phil on the right, from Florida. Yep. And uh, we met him in the parking lot. We're going to kind of hang out a little bit together today. <laughs> Safety in numbers. Yes. Safety in numbers. And I'm following these guys. in the parking lot the trailhead is right there you walk about 50 yards you're into the slot canyon right away <clears throat> we were told that immediately when you enter this canyon you're gonna run into water and you can see we've now walked I don't know close to a mile or so we've yet to even see water it's just super super dry I mean you just have this hardened mud all the way thus far so maybe we'll see some water as we go hey so we met these guys walking back what are we expecting ahead of us you got a little bit of heat for a bit, and then you get into the narrows for like the last five miles, and it's just gorgeous. Yeah, then you get down further, and uh, there's a little bit of trickling water. You get the reflections of the giant walls, and yes. it starts to narrow in, and it's real nice and cool in there. That was my next question. You did see a rattlesnake. It's a rattlesnake. Baby one. A yeah, one. dead scorpion, a big dead snake. A lot of random dead stuff, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, put your fingers in your ears, please. I don't think you want to hear anymore. The last right. question is, we heard about quicksand. Oh, that's this guy. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's get the camera on the man over here. Did, did you step in it on purpose or by accident? So I saw, so Mike stepped in it and then I saw him like kind of sink. So I was like wondering what it was and then yep. it was quicksand. Wow. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. <laughs> Appreciate you talking with us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest yeah. of your hike. Enjoy. Enjoy. See you. So nothing but very dry ground right now. We were expecting, based upon the research we did on the internet, and the internet is always 100% accurate, of course, we're going to do a lot of river crossings, and that's not going to happen. Even our friends told us that we just met that uh, they didn't see any water until the confluence, which is the Buckskin Gulch Slot Canyon. So we're going to try to make it that far if we can, but if not, it's no big deal. But we're going to try. As I said, most of the time, from what I understand, the water is running through here. So you're doing multiple river crossings with water and this clay type material. You can imagine you sink in quite a bit and you can see there are footsteps that are going down maybe what, uh, about two and a half inches or so all the way across. This was wet and this was muddy. I mean, carrying that mud around on your shoe and working your way through that mud would probably make this trip, I would think, at least twice as hard. So we came, if you don't mind the heat, you don't want to be in the water, we came probably an ideal time here at the end of June. It's right about the halfway point. We're looking to go to the end, which is 7.5 miles. You can see that the canyon walls are definitely closing in on us. Uh, you get some patches of shade along the way. We've been stopping, just trying to cool our body off a lot. But it's hot, it's dry, 
And it's a gorgeous, gorgeous hike. Just about all to ourselves, too. Hey, there they are. Yeah. So how far did you guys make it? We went up 7.7 .7 miles. Stopped and, a little short. Oh no, and you didn't see the confluence, we huh? We didn't see it. And I don't know, I, and it, it wasn't getting any more narrow. So, and we, we measured it should have been about seven and a half right. miles up. You must have been really close because I doubt you would have missed it, you know? What do yeah. you think, you want to go back? I mean, we're, we we didn't stop far up we're there. We're going that way now if you want to join us. Yeah, let's just, let's just keep going. Finish you guys got plenty of water and everything? You okay? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we're, we're good. All right. All right. Cool. Let's go. We're finishing it off. You guys are troopers, man. So now you're going back another, what, two miles probably from here to get to that point? Would you say? Nine. Yeah. So we're further along, I think, than your then my thing is device is saying. Thing. We saw yeah. the other group that, that was Yeah. Parked. They said it was closer to, I think, closer to nine miles to where we're going. Yeah, did you see the, the yes, family? Yes, yeah. yeah. Talked to them. We talked to them, and, and they were like, yeah, it's probably a little closer to nine miles to get up to that point. But we, we looked at the same trailhead map you did, and when we added them up It was 7.5, and even the research I did was 7.5. Uh -huh. Yeah. All I mean, right. let's go up a little bit more. We're here. Also. We're already here. We're not going to You guys yeah, are awesome. Bail. We're not going to bail. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to the other group? They turned around? They should have been up there. We haven't passed them. They went ahead of us. Well, not so much right there. All right, we're not positive, but I think I found this infamous quicksand that's in this canyon. We're not going in deep, but you can see, whoa, that just, that would drop. I mean, Easily, it just keeps going. It just keeps going. And the consistency is a lot different than this clay that we've been stepping in that only drops you down about an inch or so. So we have made it to Buckskin Gulch. From what I've been told, this is the longest slot canyon in the world. Amazing. The confluence, the confluence, uh, 7.5 miles to get in here. Although some people have said it's nine. Remember they said when you get to this point, they said take, take it down a little ways and say it's beautiful. You have to, we can't just not. I mean, that's like, that's like the prettiest part. All right, let's save here. Does it go both ways, Phil? Left and right. Wow. But, but it's nice and shady that way. And That's why I'm headed that way. It's stagnant though. It doesn't, it, but look, you can see it all. Yeah. It's moving. Huh. Yeah, I definitely want to continue down with it. We're probably uh, see, this is work. why having an ATV would be perfect. Because right. it comes and drops you right there. <laughs> yeah, maybe one of these days we'll come and visit you guys at the church. Hey, you're always welcome. Yep. The whole area right here. Yeah. I'm glad we turned back. Thanks to you guys. Oh, it was just meant to be. <laughs> she was just saying, what are the odds that God puts us uh, <laughs> on a trail with, with a pastor? <laughs> it's nice. It's give us the encouragement to go the extra mile. What's it like up there? The trail gets better and better. You gotta come, come around the corner and just check it out. What do you say, Phil? Keep going? Every bend, you gotta uh, go I say to yes, place. and I say no. <laughs> I don't think you're gonna get Monica to stop. But it's pretty awesome, no, though. I like the how there. it's getting wooded. Look at what, and then you want to go around that bend because it looks like it's a real narrow crevice. You don't want to quit. And listen to the echo, which means it's getting narrower and taller. So we're just taking a little time to walk in the Buckskin Gulch. And I tell you, it gets prettier and prettier as you go. And it really makes you appreciate a place like this because it takes so much work to get here. But once you get here, it is gorgeous. <laughs> wow, would you check that out? Oh man, it's like this mirror right here. 
Just one more bend, right? Man. I can't see you, Phil. Oh, there you stagger, are. Stagger, stagger, stagger. stagger. <laughs> oh, I'm not going through the water. I don't, my shoes aren't wet, and I got to hike. Like, got to do off. a hop. Yeah, I don't want that. That's what I've been trying to do the same. I didn't want to get my feet wet. Yeah. Just keep it going. Got it. Stagger, people. Stagger. Come on, Julie. <laughs> okay, keep going. I got it. I'm still going with it. Oh, it's looking awesome. out of it. It's all right in there. Wow. Where you guys were smart enough not to walk. All right, we are deep in the Priya Canyon right now. We got about a seven and a half mile hike back. Thanks so much for traveling with us. And remember here at America Sparks, there's always room for you on our next national park adventure. And there's one more thing I got to say to you. Subscribe, Subscribe to America Sparks. Couldn't have said it better myself. Mm -hmm.